Viewer, prior to the 22nd January Pran Pratishtha ceremony at the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, the week-long rituals running up to that have already started in the city. The city is getting prepared for the big day. Each and every home in Ayodhya will be participating in these initial rituals as a puja is being performed at the Garbhagriha of the temple just five days from now. Take a look at this ground report. Rituals for the Pran Pratishtha of Sri Ram Mandir in Ayodhya have begun. On Wednesday morning, women of the holy city took out a Kalash Yatra. So a lot of color, a lot of mantras that are being chanted here, surrounded by the priests. But I must add here, there's a strict security deployment also. Uh, higher and higher restrictions now are taking place in Ayodhya. Ram Lalla's asan at the Garb Griya is also ready. India today has accessed images of the asan that will be used for Ram Lalla. It's over three feet tall and is made up of 50 square feet marble. 110 workers have worked for over eight months to get it ready. Look, the Ram Lalla ka jo asan bana hai, wo makrana white marble se hi bana hai. Ye world ka finest marble hai. Isse upar marble ki koi quality nahi hai. Isme jo marble ka size hai, wo char char inch ki parat lagai gayi hai, saath parat. जो चार किया गया है आसन ग्राउंड फ्लोर के अंदर आप स्टार्टिंग से लेके पूरे ग्राउंड फ्लोर के अंदर लगा है पोडियम पे भी मकराना वाइट मार्बल ही लगा है और कहीं जगह पे इनले का काम हुआ है गुड़ मंडप में निर्त्य मंडप में रंग मंडप में और परिक्रमा मार्ग में भी कहीं जगह इनले का काम हुआ है कलर्ड स्टोन का श्री राम नगरी इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द बिग डे रामायण इज बीइंग रीटोल्ड अराउंड द लता मंगेशकर चौक Electric buses are plying across the city. Devotees from Ma Sita's birthplace, Janakpur in Nepal, have arrived in Ayodhya to take part in the festivities and the grand inauguration ceremony. Puja rituals are being performed at the Garbhgriha of the Ram Mandir. Steeped in spirituality and festivity, Ayodhya awaits the rise of the Ram Mandir. With Pooja Shali and Samaj Srivastava in Ayodhya, Bureau Report, India Today. Viewer, you would no doubt have noticed that amidst all this fervor, all amidst all this sentiment and emotion and the atmosphere surrounding the Ram Mandir, it's very difficult to ignore the fact that an older generation here in India is really steeped in this mood. Everyone's very, very excited. Colonies are getting big screens put up so the elderly and infirm who may not be immediately able to go to Ayodhya will be able to see the Pran Pratishtha ceremony for themselves. A lot of people attach a great deal of religiosity, sentiment and faith to what's happening in Ayodhya. And that's one of the reasons why criminal elements have decided to prey on such vulnerabilities, especially of the elderly. You may have seen your own parents being very excited about it. You may have seen family WhatsApp groups where all manner of Ram Mandir related content is being shared. Well, I can tell you, viewer, that the report you're about to watch tells you about something you may have perhaps expected, but it's very, very real. From promises of free VIP access to free prashad from the Pran Pratishtha ceremony itself to free uh, Saryu water that has been blessed by the Ram Mandir on the day when the Prime Minister is there to all manner of tickets and rides to Ayodhya. These are scams and schemes designed to make you make the wrong decision especially those like the elderly who may not be familiar with such things. This is India Today's special report by Shreya Chatterjee. Watch this. Scams surrounding the highly anticipated inauguration of the Ram Mandir. Be cautious of scammers 
taking advantage of the religious fervor. Let's examine the deceitful practices circulating ahead of the historic Pran Pratishtha. WhatsApp package files promising VIP access to the Ram Mandir consecration. Cyber security experts caution that such files might be phishing or hacking attempts. Users are advised against installing them and encouraged to hit the report button. It's going to be the primary responsibility of every stakeholder to take appropriate steps to go ahead and protect themselves from becoming victims of cyber crimes. So these kinds of various uh, offerings that uh, these dubious or fraudulent websites are offering are nothing but a manifestation of online financial frauds. Requests for donations through QR codes in the name of the Ram Janabhumi Trust. Authorities have repeatedly clarified that no such donation drive is underway. This is just another scheme by scammers. Cross-verify any such requests with official sources. Websites and online platforms offering to distribute free prasad but charging for delivery. Some users dismiss them as marketing stunts, while others complain of fraud. The faithful has been alerted that some platforms are selling prasad. Amazon has initiated an investigation into unauthorized prasad sellers. कोई भी प्रसाद जब तक ट्रस्ट नहीं देगा किसी के पास नहीं आ सकता अमेजोन का जो पुराना करैक्टर भी है वो कई बार हमने देखा कि वो हिंदू द्रोही करैक्टर कई बार एक्सपोज हुआ है अब इनको इमीडिएटली बंद करना चाहिए इसको अन्यथा तो हमारी जो लीगल टीम है इसको सीरियसली विचार कर रही है इस पर लीगल कार्रवाई करेंगे हम द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर साइबर क्राइम यूनिट हैज इशूड अलर्ट्स टू लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसीज clearly uh, people have suggested that no such authority has been given to sell prasad uh, and clearly all these things are nothing less than a scam uh, organizations like vhp have time and again raised voice against such scam with video journalist satya dushu chatterji for india today. And I want to bring in India today is Shreya Chatterjee, who br broke that story here on India Today. Uh, the story is already going viral on all our social media platforms. Shreya, I can bet that a lot of people have already been targeted by these scams. I can, you know, because we all know that you know uh, uh, the, the, the Indian society is full of people sharing this kind of stuff on WhatsApp. They are very, very easy to target. How is this going to be handled? How are law enforcement agencies going to be able to stop this, other than to, you know, basically sensitize as many people as possible? Uh, well, you know, Shiv, sensitization is the first and foremost thing that is being done right now. But if we talk about legal action, uh, the VHP particularly uh, has been very vocal about raising voice against such of marketing mirages that are right now. Uh, I mean, we see multiple of them, be it on Instagram, be it on mm. X, be it on any other platform that includes WhatsApp, the kind of QR uh, codes that are floating around on Facebook, even marketing e-commerce giants like Amazon. There are Prasad deliveries that are being claimed to be Ram Mandir Prasad. Uh, as we raised it to Amazon, they said that they are doing an investigation on the same and will revert. But somewhere down the line, there needs to be strict action against them. We do know that the MHS I4C uh, division has also asked law enforcement agency to initiate a crackdown on the same. But right now, uh, probably through uh, the media, through our medium, we can actually request viewers to exercise caution and not fall prey to these uh, marketing mirage that is right now. Uh, I mean, it's it's everywhere right now surrounding the entire Ram Mandir inauguration. And I'm going to uh, request all of our viewers who've watched Shreya's report uh, to please, uh, you, you can access it on Facebook, on our social media handles. Please share it on your family groups. Let it get as much reach as possible. That's the best way you can stay alert, stay aware, and not fall prey to this. And remember, you may be aware of what's happening out there, but the elderly, those not familiar with social media or WhatsApp norms could easily fall prey. And those are the kinds of people that these scamsters are really banking on. Shreya, great story. Thank you very much for joining me. And we will continue to keep track of the fallout of this investigation.